Hello friend, in today's video we will learn very interesting and very amazing project. The project name is uh, Phase Detection and Security Access System. So first I would like to tell you the flow of this project. So what happened, whenever the person comes at the outside the door, then he, he will press the doorbell. So once he press the doorbell, then automatically the Raspberry Pi detects the doorbell by using this switch button. So once the doorbell press, then automatically buzzer will start ringing for the some, some amount of time and after stop ringing. After that, Automatically Raspberry Pi open the camera and it will detect the person face uh, by using the camera and if the person is known then the access is given to the person and door will, door will be open. So that door will be open and closed by using this DC motor. Now once if the uh, let's say if the person is unknown so what will be happen. So if the person is unknown and uh, he will press the doorbell then again the camera will open and once the camera will open the camera detect that person is unknown by using the phase detection system. So we will use two methods phase detection system also and hardware part also. So once the phase detected by the unknown person then, uh, then automatically it will send the signal from that phase detection system to the Raspberry Pi. Then that phase detection system send the, uh, send the unknown person data to the Raspberry Pi and then Raspberry Pi will not open the door. Also it will display on the screen light it is unknown person also after that if let's say in that unknown case if a um, family member is not present inside the home so the uh, family uh, family member presence is detected by the, this pair sensor so once this pair sensor has some input that means the family member present inside the inside the home so once the family member present inside the home that means the unknown person image not uh, the unknown person image will not send on the user mobile number through the mail id and if the pr sensor does not have the input then in that case the unknown person image will be sent on respective user mobile number so that user mobile uh, user will get idea about which person visited at his door uh, uh, with a uh, in, in absence of his so this is the complete idea behind this project so before start this project i would like to i would like to tell you this project is really difficult really difficult to understand uh, understand also and the programming also, part also really difficult so i would like to tell you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and every detail of this project so before start this project let's see what will be the final output of this project so that you will get idea about at the end how this project will work and how the how we can do the programming so you can say whenever you run the project uh, at the python shell you will get this message waiting for bell input also you can see on the screen there is a press bell so it is uh, showing the user like you have to press the bell so once i press the bell you can see the buzzer will start ringing for the some time and after that camera will automatically pop up will come here window and it will detect my face and my face is stored so it will detect as a uh, known person and it will give the my name uh, there and on LCD you can see my uh, uh, authorized person and this DC motor start rotating after uh, sometimes start anti-rotating and then stop so it is a first flow you will see this flow so I will press the bell so you can see the bell, uh, bell start ringing and the camera start capturing my image yeah, the no name is Rahul Zado and you can see valid person and you also observe that the DC motor also start rotating uh, some sometime. So I will again press the bell. So you can see valid person door open start rotating clockwise. The anti clockwise and then stop. So this is the first part first part of this project. Now I will show you if the unknown person present inside the home. So what will happen? Now we will see what happen if the unknown person present the uh, press the bell. So you can see I have given the one signal to PR sensor that means the family member is present inside the home. And uh, so, uh, so if the uh, PR sensor has one input that means unknown person image not uh, it will not send on the uh, respective user uh, mail id. So let uh, now you can see uh, the input uh, the uh, sensor is asking for the input so once i press the bell so buzzer start ringing it will capture the image of unknown person you can see unknown person and door close so it will not give the access to the person 
and uh, here you can see uh, on python shell that is on uh, face processing part you can see member present inside the home so no need to send the image now this is the first part of unknown person now we will see the second part of unknown person so what will happen if the uh, pr sensor uh, has zero input that means family member does not pre uh, family members are not present inside the home so i will again run the project so now you can see i have given the zero signal to pr sensor that means the family member are not present inside the home so once i press the bell and if the unknown person is there then it will send the image and then it will send the live image sending image on the mail id of user that means live image send on the user mail id so we can verify that one also so i will check my mail id uh, in that mail id the image should come so i will refresh refresh here so this is you can see this is the live image just i got this is unknown person image id so so this is the complete flow, uh, flow of this project so this is the complete flow of this project so now we will see the requirement of software what are the different types of software you require to run this project so before start the next part uh, so before start the next part i request you please subscribe my channel you can see uh, you can see currently i have 902 subscriber and almost 2000 watch hour but to verify my channel on the youtube i require 1000 subscriber and again plus 2000 watch hour and this only possible with your support so please support me please click on the subscribe button and also please watch this complete video once you subscribe my channel this this no uh, this is not only beneficial beneficial for me this also beneficial for you uh, because you can see i have uploaded the more than 40 or 50 video on raspberry pi on arduino uh, uh, on my channel you can uh, go to my playlist and you can check all the video so that you can learn uh, learn raspberry pi from the basic to advanced now we will see what are the different types of software that you need to install in your laptop to run this project so there is one big disclaimer for this project this project is combination of many project so Uh, if you check my playlist there are many videos on raspberry pi so i have combined the two three video in this one project and then after this project will uh, build so you uh, to run this project in your laptop you have to watch that video all the video that i show you then it is successfully it will it will successfully you can run this project so first part you need to install the python 3.9 software in your laptop so i can show you uh, which software i am talking about so python so you need to install python 3.9 software in your laptop this one also second software you required is vsp so how to install python 3.9 software and how to install vsp software in your laptop you can watch this video fail detection using raspberry pi so in this video there is one chapter software installation process please go through that chapter and install all the software what i am uh what i told in already in this video so once you download all the software and once you install all the software then automatically whatever the required software you require for this uh phase detection system and security access system that software already present in your video now next part is when you open your project like uh, this one and when you try to run this project then might be you will get this error module not found no uh, no model name phase phase recognition so how to resolve this error then again you have to go to cmd so once you go to the command prompt then you have to type this command py3 install open cv python and copy this command then paste here py3 install open cv python as it is and press enter so once you press enter open cv will get installed in your laptop then go to again this notepad file and copy this command py3 install phase recognition again go to the cmd and just paste and press enter so once you press enter once you press enter the automatically py up phase recognition uh, package install in your laptop and it is very important to install this package then and then only your project will open and you will not find any error in your laptop okay this is one part now the second part is we have to understand the uh, folder structure of this project so what i mean by folder structure 
so once you download my folder or once you download my folder from my given google drive link you will find this project phase detection system security system folder so inside this folder there are again many uh, two one folder uh, the folder name is pr sensor library so in this library you can see there is a pr sensor library present and you require this library to use the pr sensor in your laptop for protest software so how to install that library just copy all this file <coughs> so once you copy all this file go to the c drive then after that go to the program files then go to the labs and electronic then protest 8 then uh, lab data then library and paste whatever you copy file paste here so once you paste here pair sensor library get installed in your laptop so this is the one part now next part is uh, you require your face uh, face image so that uh, uh, your uh, person will be uh, validated by using the face detection system pro code so this is the code face recognition code so for that i recommended you uh, you can open your laptop uh, you can open laptop camera and capture the image from the camera uh, from the lap laptop camera itself and once you capture the image paste that image here and uh, it will uh, then uh, using face recognition code it will detect this image during the face recognition system so this is the one part you have to copy your image inside this folder only face recognition system you can see there are two images of my so one image is Rahul name and one image with Pranali name so there is two person if you have three person then you can copy and paste that person name here and with that image so this is the second part so with this you can successfully download and install the python 3.9 you can download the protis 8.9 software also you can download the uh, this phase recognition library and open civil library by using cmd command also vsp uh, software by using this uh, uh, this uh, this video phase detection using raspberry pi so once you download the requirement of software gets fulfilled for your uh, for this phase detection system project now we will see what are the uh, what are different types of hardware connection you require in this project as all as i already told you this project combination of many, many projects so you can see the uh, basic part of hardware that is uh, raspberry pi then lcd module then uh, this uh, dc motor then pair sensor this buzzer is already covered in my video the video name is protest simulation for theft detection system with raspberry pi so you have to watch this video and with this video you can see in that video i have completely explained each and every step how to design this hardware so once you watch this video you will get idea about how to design this hardware and you will get ready made hardware for this uh, phase detection system also in this video i have told you how to send the image on particular user mo uh, user mail id and what are the different types of setting of your email that require if you want to send the image from your python code to particular user number user mail id so this video is very important to watch completely implement complete project in your laptop then after jump to my this face detection system security system video so i hope you uh, you watch this video and okay so once you watch this video you will get all the hardware now additional hardware i have added is uh, this one bell uh, button that is just switch i have added with respect to the uh, one uh, uh, register there and dc motor so how to add the dc motor i already explained in my this video how to use the protest software and simulation of raspberry pi i will provide you all the video link in the description so that you can easily find out that video but the this is only useful for those uh, students who really wants to learn by themselves and if you want ready-made simulation from me for this fed detection project you can directly download from my google drive link the google drive link given in the description so that you can directly available all the circuit diagram from the google drive link and you can ready to start this project now let's see importance of each and every line from the program so before start the program i would like to tell you the program is divided into two parts first part is first program is phase detection code so in this code we detect the face we send the email to uh, uh, of live image to particular user mail id and the second part is raspberry pi program which control the hardware which take the input from the pr sensor also displays the message on the lcd 
so let's see importance of each and every line from the phase de detection program so you can see first line is import phase recognition so this line is basically used to import the phase recognition uh, library into your uh, program so if you want to use a phase rec recognition method in, then you have to use this line now second line import cv2 so there are some cv2 library that is uh, uh, cv2 there are some cv2 library open cv library in your code so we will use by uh, that library by using this we will use that library function by using this uh, cv2 library then numpy.numpy same for this cv2 then again my, my important is os and serial so os and serial basically used to access the uh, virtual port that is used to transfer the data from the this phase recognition code to your uh, protease uh, code so for that we will use this library now uh, after the there are three three library is smt lib then image d uh, uh, image dr then email message so all these three library basically used to send the message so to send the mail from your particular u uh, username to particular user id so for that we will use this library now next line is serial dot serial comp one nine six double zero so basically if you want to access the serial port virtual serial port of your uh, laptop then you require uh, serial dot serial uh, function and it, it will create the virtual serial port and that serial port can be accessed by using this yes variable by using this yes variable now in in your case if the la if python is updated then uh, this serial uh, serial package will not work so instead of this serial package you will get one error like there is import error for serial communication so for that you can use the py serial package so py serial package just replace serial by py serial here if you have the error for the serial communication and then replace that py serial here also py serial so in this way you can use a py serial or better way you can go to the google and search how to use py serial uh, for package for import serial and serial dot serial method i think you just have to replace the py serial by this serial by this py serial here only and here serial by py serial and then uh, all the program will be sent but that case only works if you have the error for the serial package now next line is current folder os get uh, C cwd so basically this function read the current folder of your uh, file so so this line basically read the current folder part of your line so you can see my path is the uh, my path is this one where i store the program so this is the path so actually uh, this line this os dot gets cwd read the that path and store that part in uh, into current folder variable after that image one so image one of image one path is nothing but current folder path that is our this path folder path plus plus addition of rahul dot gpg so rahul dot gp that is my image that i store into this uh, folder uh, into this folder structure so you can see this is my image so whenever you replace your image you can give your name here and after that you can replace your name by this name then after that second image name so second image name current folder plus your second image path so you can see second image also there with uh, this name pranali so that i have given here pranali here so this is the idea behind these two line so if you want the third image you can just copy this line create the third variable image 3 and give the image 3 path here so you can create a many number of user database by using this current folder method after that there is a method cv2 video capture so this is basically so this is basically cv2 function which create the one variable with that variable we can access the camera of our laptop or our usb camera so if you want to use the usb camera you can change one by zero here just or you can take the zero if you take the zero that means you you are you are using the your laptop camera and if there is a one that means you are using the usb camera so in my case i use the laptop camera itself now uh, next line is we have to load the image that is uh, this this two image into our code so to load the image uh, this line is used this is first line for this first image and second two lines for this second two image so in your case you, uh, you have to change the name here that instead of rahul you you can give your name rahul you can give your name and here also rahul you can give your first image name now next part is pranali that is second image name you can change the pranali by your, your username so with this 
four line with this for for this line the image is loaded into our code now non phase encoding so once the uh, image is loaded we create one uh, here array and we pass that array to this two variable name uh, face encoding name after that non face name so we have to define the user defined name in our code for our face so first name is rahul dado and second name is pranil dado so if you want to change the name you can just change the name here so that it will detect with respect to your image after that uh, this is the variable we can see later so first line is waiting for bare input so whenever program start is uh, program start program start with this while true loop and whatever the code inside this while true true loop it will execute in fine number of time so first line is execute once the program start is waiting for bare input that means when uh, when the user press this bell switch uh, here then automatically uh, this serial uh, your raspberry pi send some data to this face recognition code so that data is a so once the a receive from the your raspberry pi to face recognition code that means the pale is detected and after that we have to turn on the camera of our uh, face recognition code so after that while on again code start the second part then it will start the video recording grab the video recording and uh, there is a fr some frame size then it arrange the frame that uh, we saw already then after that it will start matching your code by this line uh, with this logic and if the uh, if the code is does not match then it will give name to unknown and if the code is match with our face that is is this already image store face then this name variable gets the value of our respective variable from here so let's say in case if the code is not match that is face is not recognized and that is unknown person then this name gets unknown value and here it will check name is equal to unknown yes name is equal to unknown then we have to write zero that is o value or zero l it's ah uh, it zero value to uh, raspberry pi so whenever uh, raspberry pi detect the zero value from the face recognition code to raspberry pi code then raspberry pi print here unknown person and it will not open the gate so to transfer the data from face face recognition code to raspberry pi we will use this logic s dot write b0 and uh, next if there is unknown person again we have to check the data that is pr sensor data that is pr1 or not from the raspberry pi then again we have to read some data from the raspberry pi so to read the data again we will use same logic is dot read function and serial dot data so if the serial dot data is p that means the member is present inside the home and that p is sent by our raspberry pi from the protis code so once the data is p we receive from the raspberry pi then we print member present inside the home no need to send the image on your uh, mail id and if the data is q let's say the pr sensor has zero value here that means data is q and this data is sent from the raspberry pi to this code and if the data is q then we have to send the image on respect to mail id how to send the image then again we required some open cv png so this is the one image in that image we write our real time image so this open cv png you can see in current folder there is a open cv png image also this one open cv png so this image is created immediately after that send the email so you have to put your email id here just like here is my email id then receive your email id then you can put the user receive your email id here then you have to put the password here then you have to uh, give uh, subject for that email then you can give any subject for that email then you have to write the sender email it automatically take to email automatically take then message whatever the content of message you can write here and after that with open cv so this is the function basically which is load the real time image and store the real time image with open cv name after that once the image is ready then you have to transfer the image on the particular mail id so how to transfer by using this four 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 line so with this smtp protocol we will transfer the image from real time from your respective sender mail id to receiver mail id with this logic so this is the logic behind the how to send the data if the pr sensor has a output detect the output or pr sensor does not detect the output from the raspberry pi now next part is if the person is known then name uh, will get the valid person name so if the name is equal to rahul jado or name is equal to pranil jado that means valid person in in case of valid person we have to send the one value 
to Raspberry Pi from the phase recognition code to how to send that one value is dot write function. So once you write is dot write b is equal to one, then one value is to give to the Raspberry Pi function and then it will start rotating the motor. We will see Raspberry Pi code later, but this is the logic. Then after that, our normal uh, here the framing structure and all those things. So very important part is only this logic, this one. How to send the data from the from the phase recognition and how to receive the data at the Raspberry Pi side and how to receive the data from the Raspberry Pi to the phase recognition. So if you don't, I I um, I know this code is little bit complicated, but if you don't understand the code, please watch this. Uh, Please watch this explanation again so that you will get understand about how to send the data from the Raspberry Pi phase recognition code to Raspberry Pi hardware and how to receive the data. Okay, so this is the first lo uh, first logic. Now, like next line, we will jump to the Raspberry Pi code. So in Raspberry Pi code, once you open the protest, you can see in the source code you will find the code. So first line is import time. So whenever you want to create some delay in your code, you require this line library. Then OS some OS function. Then GPIO library, if you want to access some GPIO port, then you require this GPIO library. Then PI and ports. So with these two library, we can access the serial combination that is uh, virtual UART port uh, of the Raspberry Pi so that we can send the data from Raspberry Pi to the phase recognition code. Then we create one variable here with this variable, we can send the data from, we can send data from our protest to uh, Python code. Then GPIO.board, we will using the board as a method for Raspberry Pi. And set warning to the false. So whenever we do not, do not require the Raspberry Pi warning, we set to the false. Then next line is RA7 enable 11. So if you watch my video, uh, that is phase regression video, also the uh, theft detection video, then you will understand what the importance of this line. Uh, I just give a short description about this line if you don't watch that video. So we have defined the LCD RS to the same. So what is this mean? So LCD RS means you can see LCD RS pin is connected to GPIO 4 and here gpio 4 is nothing but the 7 number so that we define lcd rs to the 7 so for each and every pin we have given the name with respect to that logic you can go each and every pin number and you, you can check the each and every uh, pin name here then after that we have to set the some input data uh, input pin and output pin so all the lcd all the dc motor pin act as output pin and the switch pin and the pr sensor act as the input pin so you can see uh, whatever the pin act as output we declare with a pin name with gpio.out and whatever the pin act as input we have declared here pin name with gpio in so pr sensor as input switch pin as input then uh, all the lcd pin as output and dc motor pin as a and buzzer pin as a output pin so once the uh, uh, after the welcome message printed you can see phase detection system message printed on the lcd then uh, after that while one loop is started so inside while one first line is press the bell so once the press the bell message printed on this lcd that means it is indication to the user you have to press the bell so once the user press the bell that is press the switch then one value sent from the switch to the raspberry pi so you sorry zero zero values uh, sent from your switch to raspberry pi because we use the active low logic so active low logic mean whenever you have pressed the switch it will send the zero value to the raspberry pi so how to detect that value gpio.input method which pin name so gpio.input switch pin it will give the one or zero value if the switch is pressed then it will give the zero value if the switch is open then it will give the one value so once the switch data is pressed that is whatever the value is coming from this function we store into the data variable and if the data is variable is equal to true that means the switch is pressed and if the switch is pressed we have to send the a signal so what is mean by this a signal so uh, we already saw that in the phase generation code whenever there is a signal from the uh, raspberry pi it means we have to pop up the camera so to pop up the, pop up the camera we use this logic to send the a signal from here after that gpio dot output buzzer pin to the true so we have to turn on the buzzer from the for the same time so how to turn on just send a one signal to the buzzer so how to send gpio dot output buzzer pin to the true then some uh, delay then we have to turn off the buzzer after some delay so after that again third loop while one so inside this while we are checking what the input from the PR sensor, uh, sorry, what the input from the phase recognition uh, method. So once the phase recognition system detects the person is known or uh, unknown, then it will send the one or zero. And that one or zero is detected here at this line 163. And data is equal to one, that means the person is known. So if the person is known, we have to print the valid person door open message on the LCD. 
then you have to turn on the uh, DC motor into one direction. So how to turn on the motor into one direction? You have to send the one signal on this IN1, zero signal IN1 on the IN2. So it will rotate in clockwise wise, clockwise direction. And if you reverse the uh, bit, uh, bit, bit structure, that is zero signal on IN1 and one signal on IN2, then it rotate anti-clockwise. And if you if you want to stop the motor, then you have to send the one one signal on this or zero zero signal on this IN1 and IN2. So for this logic, we have designed here. So once the valid person detect, we have to turn on the motor for the some time and to turn off the motor after some time. So to rotate the motor in clockwise, we will send motor pin to the first, motor two pin to the true. So it start rotating in the clockwise direction, then some delay, then motor one pin to the true, motor two pin to the false, then anti-clockwise direction, then some delay, then false false. That means motor should be stopped, then break. So once the break comes, then automatically our pointer comes here while one again it waiting for the bell. So this is the one part. Now the next part is if the data is equal to zero. So that means the uh, our phase regression code send the zero value. That means unknown person detected from here. Unknown person. So once the unknown person detected, we have to pre uh, print unknown person data uh, and door close on the LCD. Then we have to uh, take the PR sensor input. So we have to check in that case the PR sensor one or zero. So what that logic means if the PR sensor is one, that is member is present and PR sensor is zero. That is member is absent. So let's say we are checking the input from the PR sensor with this line gpr.input PR sensor. Then after that PR data is equal to true. That means member is present. Then we have to send the P signal on the phase recognition, phase recognition code. So you can see in the phase recognition code, uh, we check here the input when the unknown person if the P and Q. So for this logic, we are sending the signal from here P and Q. So once P receive, you you know what happened. And one Q in issue, you know what happened, then again break. So in this way, the loop is rotating in the uh, infinite time and our project start working. So this is the basic idea behind this code. Uh, so uh, you can see from this line, from line LCD init function till line welcome message. I haven't uh, told you logic because that logic is already told in my mini video. And if you watch the theft detection video, that logic also there. So if you want, really wants to learn the uh, this logic, or uh, then you can watch that theft detection video completely. But whatever the important logic for this code, it is start from start from the theft detection system. So I will cover almost the all the complete logic. And I request you please watch the theft detection video. Please watch the theft uh, detection video. Please watch the DC motor simulation video, so that you will get idea about how I connected this DC motor to Raspberry Pi. So yes, so this is the idea behind this code, behind this program, behind the hardware. So I hope you understand the code and if you don't understand, please watch this video again and again. Definitely you will understand and uh, you can contact me anytime. I have provided my WhatsApp number and mail ID in the description. Also, you can download, download the ready-made simulation, ready-made code, ready-made simulation of this project from the Google Drive link given in the description. And in the next chapter, uh, next chapter, I will to, I will tell you how to run this project by using this uh, ready-made solution. Now we will see how to run this project and this is very important. So first thing I will close all the window. Now you can see your laptop window will open. Now you have to go to the Python 3.9. I hope you have downloaded uh, this Python 3.9 software. Uh, Python 3.9 IDA from my phase detection video. So once you open the Python 3.9, go to the file, then go to the uh, open. So once you go to the open, uh, go to the my downloaded folder from my Google Drive link. So this is folder. Now you have to open this code, file, uh, face recognition code. So once you open this code, you will find this code. Proteus software. 8.9 right click on this software then go to the run as administrator then click on yes button go to the open project then go to your downloaded project then go to this phase detection security system project phase detection security system project then after that phase detection open this then after that this project will be open now 
you have to uh, press on this button so once you press on this button welcome message printed here that means your project start working here then create the detection system message also present here then press bell that means it is uh, required for the input now the second part you have to open the python project then uh, once you open the python project go to the run project and run module if you download all the libraries and if you watch my all the video then you will not find any error here and let's wait for some minutes so if your python shell has this uh, line waiting for input that means your project start working successfully after that you can press this bell press this bell you can see camera will be capture start capturing so in this way you can run your complete project so i hope you understand the project uh, if you want to learn the program you can watch my respective video you will get idea about each and everything about the code so thank you very much